Hello everybody, Walking keep up here bringing you another Let's Play video inside of Stardew Valley. Oh, we got Iridium, six Iridium, that's actually not that bad. Um, today is the third of summer, year three of our completion this farm. Let's start the day off like we always do by checking the weather report. Welcome to Cozy 5, your number one source for weather news and entertainment. And on uh, the weather forecast for tomorrow, it's going to be a beautiful sunny day tomorrow. Fantastic. Let's check in with the fortune teller as well. Ah, yes, I can hear the spirits whispering something to me. The spirits feel neutral today. The day is in your hands. Excellent. Uh, let's check in with our gal pal, the Queen of Sauce. Greetings, it is I, the Queen of Sauce, here to teach you a new mouth, watering recipes from my secret cookbook this week's dish. Stir fry is a perfect way to get some healthy greens on your plate. Saute the greens and a little sesame oil to make sure to add plenty of fresh ginger and garlic. Now breathe deeply. Oh, that's good. <laughs> you already know how to cook stir fry. Indeed, I do. Uh, let's check in with little baby Sue. Hello, little baby Sue. Hello, little baby Tyro. Whoa. Uh, I didn't mean to open the fridge. Abigail, I don't see, so maybe she's down here. Ah, there she is. Hello, Abigail. I got up early and watered some crops for you. I hope it makes your job a little easier today. I also filled Julie's water bowl. Fantastic. The soft breeze is blowing mountain air through the valley today. It smells like fresh pine and sage. That's nice. Mwah. All right, let's uh, get this diamond and sell that real quick. We have a lot of things that I probably should sell, like this uh, truffle oil and this honey. I still cannot believe that we are down that low on coal after buying 200. Hi, yi yi, those those bee houses, they're insane. All right, let's see. We got a bunch of stuff here, which is great. Can I have this, please? Can I have this? We are critically low on coal again, which is annoying, but we are going to go ahead and smelt this copper. I think we're completely out of iron again. Which I'm always looking forward to being completely out of iron because it happens all the time. All right, let's go ahead and make some truffle oil, because we can, and then we're going to help the piggy pigs, not really help, we're going to go meet, <laughs> we're going to go see the piggy pigs, oh, that iron's, or that copper's done, I'm just going to get rid of it, so I have that completion, <laughs> it's just done, it's out of my mind. All right, uh, let's go up here, let's just get rid of all this excess junk in our inventory. That, that, and the copper bit there. Oh, now there's enough to make one in there. That's annoying. Oh, well, we're fine on gold. Let's put this iron bar in there. We have one iron bar left to our name. One. That's it. <laughs> um, let's put the rocks away. Let's put the maple syrup away. How do I have more? Oh, I was like, I just sold this. I forgot. I, um, yeah, I just rotated the inventory. We're down to 71 wood. Oh my goodness, this is tough. This is so, this is so ridiculous. <laughs> the amount of resources I'm burning through is ridiculous. All right, um, this is summer. Let's go in here and see starfruit seeds going there and poppy going there. We actually had enough poppy seeds, which is a tad annoying, but uh, that's okay. That's okay. Keeping the, the inventory stocked up, so that's good. See, summer forageables also go in here though. So let's put the spice berry in there. And let's just get rid of the stuff that we're not needing to carry around. Uh, I think I am putting this stuff in here. I'm not certain of that, but we'll put our, our scythe in there. We need to keep the watering can on us for a while until the poppies are done and grown up. So we'll do that still. Put the watering can over there and the truffles over there for now. Let's sell this truffle oil real quick. And then we're gonna go and say hello to our piggy pigs. And then we are not gonna forget, hopefully, <laughs> to water the poppies because they definitely need to be watered in order to take advantage of that speed rail I spent on getting them going. Let's get on our horse, run over here, and say hello to our piggy pigs. Hello, piggy pigs. Hello, everybody. Hello, 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 hello. Hello, everybody. Hello. 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 There's not too many truffles right now. We got eight already, though, so I guess it's not bad. These are all ones that they would have found this morning already. So they'll keep finding truffles all day. Okay, I think I got everybody. Let's go ahead and, again, let's chop these stumps. Just to make it a little bit easier to move around in here. Excuse me. Excuse me. That's nine now, I guess. Another thing um, I want to get done today is I want to go ahead and start buying some pigs for this barn. Uh, we're going to have to go and do it again, which I guess is a little annoying. Maybe I'll just save that for tomorrow so I can just buy them all at once. That actually might be a better use of time because one day is not going to make a big difference. 
So yeah, I just convinced myself to wait. <laughs> I was originally gonna do it like four days ago. I just never got around to it, which I'm sure is pretty annoying. Um, I'm just gonna chop this hardware real quick, and then I, what I'm thinking might be a good use of time since we're so low on resources. I'm thinking about going to the desert and planting a bunch of trees there. It'll be a while before they're all grown up, but that's kind of okay. And, uh, oh, let's double check down here and see if there's any new trees uh, that I can put tappers on. Um, see that, these guys all have tappers. Those do, those do, those do. Oh, there's one right here. One new one right there. Okay. Yeah, so let's make a tapper. Oh, I almost forgot to water the poppies. I'm silly. All right, let's water the poppies. It looks like some of them still have, um, they're still watered, which is kind of nice. It's kind of hard to tell which ones they are, though, so I'm probably just going to go and do them all real quick. So the graphic just changes ever so slightly. It's very easy to tell when the when an unwatered one is right next to a watered one, but not the easiest to tell when it's not that way. Especially the ones that are over here by a, uh, by a bee house. So I want to make sure that they're growing fast. Okay, so let's make a tapper real quick. It's already 11 o'clock, so we're wasting time real fast. Um, hopefully the deluxe barn is done tomorrow, which means I can just buy all the little piggies that I need tomorrow. So we need two of you, and we need a bunch of wood. Uh, hopefully we have enough wood. We only have 71 wood. Ay ay ay. There we go. And let's put this stuff back on. We're down to 31 wood! Oh no! That's so scary. Alright, uh, we're gonna take these 366 pine cones. That's what we're gonna plant in the desert. Since that's the only thing we have enough of to plant in the desert. Um, I can go in there. Yes, and we need to go place this tapper. Let's drink some coffee to get moving a little bit faster. I don't know where I put my horse, but we can't take it to the desert, so it's kind of fine. Um, oh, we got some maple syrup, which is not bad at all. Let's go ahead and grab that so we can start producing more. Thank you, everybody. I just I can hear all the truffles that they're getting, too, so I'm really excited to see what that looks like at the end of the day. Um, <clears throat> let's get running over to here. I think what will be good is to chop down all the trees in the desert if there are any grown. And we can chop this guy down, too, since he's grown. Uh, I don't think I've given it quite enough time for all of them to regrow in the deserts or for very many to have regrown in, like, the forest or any of the other places around town. But I'm, I'm out of wood, so i got to make a move here. <laughs> uh, I, th I think planting them... Well, I, I'm definitely going to have to buy wood in the short term to keep myself going. But hopefully, if I put plant, like, a big grove out here in the desert then um, I'll have quite a few, like, in the, I don't know. I'll have quite a few in progress, so hopefully I'll get to a point where I don't have to keep buying wood, is my thought. I don't know how, how likely that is, but we'll see. All right, let's get just, I'm just going to plant them everywhere. That's my idea. So we're just going to keep planting like crazy. We'll just spend the rest of the day planting trees. How about that? Um... Another thing that I really need to do, and I might do it tomorrow, after I buy the pigs, is uh, go get more coal and iron. And I'm thinking okay, we need to maybe not buy those and instead talk to, or not talk to, instead actually go to the um, the mines and do that. Now the areas where there's that, this is a funny little glitch, is um, like, I think this is supposed to be shade. And the shade doesn't go away when the tree is chopped down. So the areas that are shady are where a tree is supposed to be. Um, so I'm just going to avoid those areas so hopefully the tree grows back naturally and uh, I don't have to waste time with those. Uh, while I'm here, it probably makes sense to talk to Sandy and buy some more star fruit seeds because I'm going to need them for the next batch and I don't want to lose time whenever those guys are grown coming and getting that. I don't have to. So yeah, while I'm doing this, let me go and talk to Sandy. Rare seeds for sale. 
So rare. Um, star fruits. I think I had like 250 left, which means I need a, to buy about a little over 500. So I'm just gonna buy 600 to be safe. That's gonna take a minute. So, sorry. <laughs> Last time I got ahead, but this is already halfway done. It's not that bad. The rest of the day is just me finding clever little spots that I can put trees. So I'm kind of excited about that. It'd be kind of fun. All right, we're at 550. Oh, 601. That's fine. Bye, Sandy. Thanks for taking more of my money. Man, we have spent so much money in the last few episodes. Oh, summer is just so expensive. Of course, I'm gonna make just tons of money too, so. I, I keep complaining, but the amount of money I'm gonna make with the stuff that I'm putting, that I'm investing in, is also bananas, so it'll be worth it. By midsummer, I'll have made well more than what I've spent back. And then even more afterwards, so. I shouldn't complain, but it's just so annoying watching all the money flow out and nothing flow in. <laughs> Alright, so let's see. We're gonna do one here, and then here, and then here, and here, here, here. And honestly, let's just see if we can get like all of the pine trees in the ground. Like, every single one of them, because if I can, that is just a ton of stuff in the uh, in the backlog. Just not a bad thing at all. Alright, let's, uh, let's keep going this way. There we go. And I don't know how far I can get. This is the most I've ever planted in the desert already. So, let's just, let's just keep going and see if we... See where it takes us. <laughs> Um, the top area is where I normally focus my time, because it's got a lot of big open areas. But, uh, I figured I could do both this time. Mix it up, make it a little different. That's not what I wanted. I wanted to go this way. There we go. Uh, let's go this way. And this way. Now these shadows over here are just shadows from the plateau, not from trees. So I can plant in this area without worrying about blocking tree growth. There we go. Let's see, I don't think I can hell in these little pebble spots, but I want the game to tell me that, not me. I always screwed up the pattern a little bit. That's okay. Oh no! I didn't know I, could, I would do that. Eh, annoying. Oh no! It destroyed that tree as well! Oh, that's disappointing. That's very disappointing. Oh well, I'm just... I'm backtracking now, aren't I? <laughs> Making less progress now. Alright, well I got this big area hoed, so... And we learned some things. Learning is valuable. <laughs> Alright, let's get that done. And then... Oop. You. And then you. And then you. And then you. And then you. You, and you, you. This is all going to be in a grid so I don't block anybody's growth. Go. There we go. Then you. Oop, starting to get a little dark. And then that'll be that. And this should all just snap together, regardless of where I start. As long as it's all connected to the same pattern. There. Now, merging those two patterns up there, like this this pattern and that pattern may not work <laughs> because I uh, I didn't I didn't base it off of anything when I started this one down here. But everything down here is all started from one one start place, so it should be it should all click together. And let's add one here, and that should complete this pattern. Yep. Let's keep going this way instead of up there, I think. 
There's quite a few. Quite a few trees. There. And then. It's looking nice. I'm kind of I'm kind of happy with how this is coming together. Hopefully these all grow. And it looks fantastic. See all these pine trees in the desert. Should be really funny. These pine trees are typically cold weather, I believe, right? Right? That sounds right to me. There we go. There we go. All right, it's 920, so we're not going to be able to do too much more. We can still do, still do quite a bit, though. Let's get this going like this. Oh, no, I messed that up. Wow, we haven't even used half of the, the saplings, or half of the pine cones. Not even half, sir, I say. Ooh, we're really crowding this guy, but oh well. Oh well. Oh, should I take these up? I think I should. Let's take these guys up so this guy can grow. All right. Um, I suppose we should do a little bit down this way. Maybe we start down here and then work our way up a little bit. Ah! I didn't see that until I was too late. There we go. And I don't think I can do much over here, can I? Oh, yeah, a little bit. We can do quite a bit, actually. All right. I don't think I'm going to be able to get all of this done. But let's at least get it hoed in this big swath here. And then, yeah, we can, we'll can. we have, we'll have a, a last final hurrah to, to take as much of this down as we can. <laughs> uh, and I need to do this one again, don't I? Just like that. Perfect. Right, let's see how many we get planted. So we get that one, this guy, that guy, that guy, that guy, that guy, that guy, this guy. There, 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 there. I'm trying to go as fast as I can without messing up the pattern. It's actually really difficult. Um, Alright, this checkerboard is working a lot better over here because there's less obstacles in the way. That confused me. Okay. All right, it's already midnight, so I'm gonna have to not to really hurry up to get back home. But I want to get this the area that we hoed done. Cause I think I can. <laughs> I think I can accomplish it. All right, screwed that guy up. Let's um, let's get this. All right, and let's do that, 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 that. That's that that ah oh, we got it done good 12:40 we gotta go we can't, definitely don't have time to do any more than that okay but we got nearly that whole area at the bottom done it probably would be worth it to come back and do that another day too uh, fill in the the top area and the bottom area on the right side and then maybe that other area up there right by the where the skeleton is and then we have to do the whole top section of the desert as well which is big as well so. Uh, it takes several days to get all those planted, but we're down to 199 pine cones, so I think we used about a third of our pine cones. So I don't know if we could actually do all of them, but I do want to like use all of the materials. Um, let's go ahead and head to bed for now because I don't want to press my luck. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't have anything else to sell. So yes, yeah, so let's go ahead and do that. Yes, go to sleep for night, please. How did we do? Wow, we got 47,000 gold. 41 of that came from truffle oil. 4,400 from wild honey. A little bit from coconuts. A little bit from diamonds. 47,978 gold in total. So not too bad. Not bad at all. I'll take it. Let's move on with day two of this episode, which is going to be day four of summer, year three of our completionist farm. <laughs> Let's check the weather. Welcome to Cozy 5, your number one source for weather news and entertainment. And now the weather forecast for tomorrow. It's going to be a clear and sunny all day. Fantastic. Let's check on the fortune as well. Ah, I sense a new viewer has joined us. A young man from Stardew Valley. Welcome, welcome. The spirits are very happy today. They will do the best to shower everyone with good fortune. That is a great day to go after coal and iron, my thinking is. <laughs> uh, welcome to Living Off the Land. We're back again with another tip for y'all. Now listen up. 
Here's a rundown of the fish that you can only find in summer. Dorado, found in the forest rivers during the day. Rainbow trout, found in the forest rivers and in the mountains during the day. Pufferfish, found in the ocean in the early afternoon. And octopus, found in the ocean during the morning. Catch them while you can. Cool. Uh, we got our iridium allotment for the day, which is eight. Oh, what a great day indeed. Let's say hello to little baby Sue over here. Hello, little baby Sue. I saw Abigail heading off up here. Oh, and there's little baby Tyrone. Hello, little baby Tyrone. Hello, Abigail. Make sure you don't get a heat stroke, my love. Drink plenty of water and don't overwork yourself. All right. Uh, let's skedaddle. Ooh, we got a letter. Hey, I found this in a drawer somewhere. Thought you could use it. Battery. All right, let's get these two diamonds and sell them. Um, cool. We have a lot of stuff to put away, so let's do that, I think. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and drink a coffee. Glug, glug, glug indeed, sir. And I think we can do another batch of truffle oil because we have enough truffles to do that. Get it going. Get it, get, get, get. Get, get, get it going. All right, let's go. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Sweet. Now let's um head over and see our piggy pigs. Ah, and the barn is done. So we need to go see Marty today for sure. Say hello to everybody. Hello, all my pig friends. Thank you for the glorious truffles. You're all fantastic. Can you imagine how this is going to be once there's twice the amount of pigs <laughs> in this area? I'm not going to be able to do more than two barns in this area without it just being completely unusable, I think. Cool, cool, cool. Hello, piggies. Hello. All right, let's, um, let's do this. Chop, chop, chop. Hopefully I got all the piggies. There we go. Got everybody. Hello, 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 hello. I'm trying to get this, please. Anybody else? I feel like I missed somebody, but maybe I didn't. There we go. Got him. <laughs> Got the one I thought I missed. All right. Um, we can go see Marnie now, I guess. No, let's go water the flowers, and then we'll go see Marnie. Don't want to forget to do that. Down here. Oh! Look at you! You're already growing because of that nice speed grow. Fantastic. So hopefully they'll be grown by the time the honey is done doing what it does. The bees are done making honey. And then we'll have some glorious high value honey. At least in that one little pocket. There we go. And two more here. Excellent. All right, let's ride around. And I don't know that I can get through this with my horse. Maybe I can. Maybe I can like sneak through this way. Oh, I can. Excellent. Uh, I don't, I didn't notice any new trees. Let me just double check. No, no new trees up here. That's fine. All right, let's head down and talk to the lady with the pigs. The one, the only, the Marnie. Hello, pig lady. I need to purchase some animals. A lot. Okay. This is going to be insane. We're going to buy 16 pigs that are worth 16,000 gold each. I didn't even do that math in my head, but I know it's very expensive. Probably a couple hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> or guess gold. <laughs> Aw, poor butterflies frozen in place. Aw. All right, you go in here, piggy. You can be called Chun. That's fine. I don't have time to name them all. Great. I wish you could do this in... I wish you could do this in, um, in bulk better. You could, like, just say 16 pigs. Name, 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 name. That'd be nice, rather than having to do this whole... Drag the screen all the way down this way. Name it so, show so. And hit OK. That would make me very happy. Um, let's see. Purchase animals. Let's do another pig. This is going to take a minute. I'm actually going to speed through this, because this is going to be a little tedious, but... We'll get this done.
Alrighty, and I'm back. Uh, our buildings are officially full of pigs, uh, which is fantastic. We are we're at three point one million dollars now. Uh, we were at three point five, I think, at the beginning of summer. So we are spending buku bucks on trying to catch up with everything, or trying to grow our ability to make money. Is what I'm, I should say. Um, I just chopped that guy down because I noticed he was grown up. Uh, now let's run up this way, and we need to deal with our wine, because our wine was done and we didn't deal with it yesterday. Uh, I feel like there's something here, otherwise that wouldn't have been there. Nope. Am I just crazy? I'm just crazy. Fine. Whatever. I can be crazy. I don't have a problem with that. Alright, any new trees? I don't think so. It appears not. Okay. Let's stop wasting time. I'm not sure that I ever checked the Junimo huts before we, uh, when we turned over the strawberries, but... Oh, look at all the pigs! Oh, they're so adorable! Oh my goodness! I want to hug them all. I want to hug all the pigs. This is gonna be very difficult to keep all these guys straight, but that's... That's okay. We will get there. I'm just gonna try to talk to all the babies real quick and see if there's any I haven't seen yet. Just to try to get them a little bit happier. This is gonna be an insane amount of truffles when this is all done. Everything's said and done. Whoo! I cannot wait. It's gonna be so cool. So, so good. All right, let me just pop into here real quick and see if the truffles oil is done. It isn't, so we're gonna not worry about that. All right, let me just make sure we don't have any extra oak resin laying around. Oh, we do. We have one. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, so, oh, I don't even think we have enough wood to make a uh, another keg, do we? Oh, we do. We have just enough. Just enough. Okay. Uh, we need copper and iron. Uh, we have one bit of copper, or one bit of iron and one and a lot of copper. So let's make that real quick. All right. We are officially out of iron today. I didn't grab the stuff for wine. Of course I didn't. Why would I? That would be... That would make sense to do. As batteries go in here, they do. Okay, let's put the extra wood back in here and the mud and everything else that I just don't want in my inventory anymore. We're not gonna deal with the pine cones today. We won't have time, I don't think. So let's put that away. Uh, we're not gonna deal with the maple syrup today either. Nor the starfruit seeds, which go in here. And we have 849, which is enough. Awesome. And we need uh, we need the stuff to make the wine. Right in there. Beautiful. Alright, first things first, let's go in here and get this wine a going. Oh, look at that glorious wine! Oh, this is so good. So good. Alright. Go. There's a lot to do here. Oh goodness. Lots and lots of wine. All right, I'm gonna finish making all the wine real quick and placing that last keg and having it start making wine, and then I'll be right back. All right, and I'm back. We got all the wine going, all the kegs down, all of our oak resin turned into kegs, and we're really, really low on supplies. Uh, let me sell this 73 grip of ancient wine and the truffle oil batch that I have there. Let's see if we have time to make any more truffle oil. Ooh, we do, fantastic. And then I'm gonna put the ancient fruit away I'm so worried I'm gonna do something silly with it and lose all of that that hundred ancient fruit And then uh, I think what we want to do after that is go up to the mines and do a little bit of coal and iron gathering in that area of the mines uh, There's just not a good way to get wood right now because there's not very many trees available uh, I planted a whole bunch in the desert yesterday as you guys saw so we just have to wait for those to mature for a little bit If I need wood in the interim, I'm just gonna have to buy it from Robin That's just how it's gonna have to be for a while I might actually go and buy like 500 from her tomorrow or the next episode or something, but for now I'm just not gonna sweat it 
And we're just going to go do a little bit more resource grinding for coal because we are so low on coal. Uh, let's do 55. That sounds like a good level to me. Ooh, yeah, I hear, um, hear bringers of coal. I hear the providers of coal. Yes, so we already got four from our first level, right? Right out the get-go, so that's pretty good. Um, let's just blow all this up, see if we get anything good. Uh, not really. I was hoping to get a little bit of coal, but that didn't happen. Let's see. No iron. No more coal. Let's just head down. Next level, please. Ooh, more bringers of coal. Hello, bringers of coal. We got another five bits of coal. Excellent. And I see lots of iron, which is great. Lots and lots of iron. And a little bit of copper, which is never bad. It's it's odd that I uh, I'm in a spot now where... Coal and iron and copper are more are more scarce than gold for me. Because you really don't need that much when you're... You don't need gold for very much in smelting, is what I'm trying to say. Um, but you need it a lot. You need a lot of iron and coal for uh, crafting. And then for, for copper, the big thing is just... Um, I just haven't been in copper rich areas in a very long time because that's a very early game thing. And I'm just making a ton of tappers. So I'm just going through a lot of it to make these tappers. I think we're kind of at the tail end of that though. Um, I think you also need it for the kegs. So yeah, you do still need it. Um, it's gonna slow down quite a bit, the need for copper because I don't have very many trees left to tap. All right, give me all that, please. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Nom, 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 nom. Let me see. That, that, that. I don't see any more down here. Oh, there's a guy. There's a guy. There's a guy down here. Um, I thought I saw a ladder up here, so let's go find that ladder again and head down to the next level now. Uh, let me put this stuff up here to see... Just to kind of keep score as we go. I need to sell that truffle oil too, don't I? Uh, the other one is iron. Let's put that instead of the watering can. Yes, we have 12 iron already and 15 copper. So not too shabby. All right, we need to find a ladder though. So let me put a bomb here. Hopefully I can get the lion's share of all that stuff up there. And we did. Um, and we found a ladder. Perfect. That's what I was going for. Nothing on this level, which is pretty disappointing so far. Oh, we got, we found the bringers of coal! The uh, little fuzzy boy. Hey, fuzzy boy. Die. Just one, though, so that's not great. There's another bat over there. And another coal boy. With another little bit of coal. Perfect. Am I wearing the burglar's ring? I think I am, right? Yeah, I am. So I should be getting more coal. <laughs> A little bit of iron. Let's go ahead and head down to the next one because I just did not get anything good from this. Okay. Okay. Better. I'll take it. Got two little bits of coal from that dude. Perfect. I see some iron down there, so we are going to trek this long level to try to get more and more resources because we need the resources more than we need anything else. Just a random ladder there. Why can't I pick up this quartz? Jeez. Ooh, more iron. Love it. And often from those crates you get, um, you get like just spare iron and coal. So it's always a good idea to get them too. And four more bits of coal from there, up to twenty-four coal, which is great. So our luck is really, is really good. They weren't lying to us. Yeah, lead rod, that's useless. Alrighty, uh, there's that iron I spotted, and since we're this far into the spiral, I might as well keep going. And go, oh, yeah, and there's a bunch of uh, iron in the center, so definitely keep going for that. And a bunch of crates, which, again, might have a good amount of iron. Let's get rid of this guy. There we go. So far, so good with this run. I mean, I am spending a lot of time on this one level, but I uh, got two more bits of coal out of it, so I guess not all is lost. And um, more iron. But now we got to find a ladder as fat close to this point as possible, hopefully. So let's just start busting rocks where we can. The crystals won't drop ladders, so I'm just not going to bother with them. Hopefully, I get a ladder pretty quickly. I'm very pleased with how the farm's coming together, though. Uh, my plans in order to kind of maximize profit even further 
is to uh, build two more barns in that second section down below where the other stumps are on the farm and uh, fill that full of pigs as well. So we'll have, really, if you look at what we're producing right now, we're producing, we're producing, a th I think, we have what, three, th either three or four baby pigs. No, three baby pigs, because we sold the two cows and the one goat um, and replace them with pigs. So we're with, I'm trying to do math in my head, with 13 pigs, we're making the amount, we're making like that almost 40,000 gold per day uh, from truffles, truffle oil. So we're gonna have 16 pigs in that one and then three more barns with 16 pigs producing. Uh, so it's gonna be a lot. It's gonna be, um, what is it? So if, we're, if we assume 40 is the baseline, there'll be about 160,000 a day, probably closer to 200,000 a day in pig profits if we, if we get that fully fully going. And that's not including the wine or anything else that's happening. So there's just, just those those pigs and making truffle oil. So this will be it'll be really fun to do. Alright, not a lot on this level. A bit of a disappointment. We are up to 27 coal and 35 iron ore, so it's not a bad day at all. I do consider that successful. And we're getting pretty low on time so we're probably gonna have to call it relatively soon so box over here and just had some rocks not a good use of anybody's time all right let's see if we can get maybe one or two more levels squeezed in and then we'll run to bed as fast as we can well that's annoying let's get another one up here still no ladder still no ladder okay we're gonna play those games eh all right, let's just do this area up here then. If there's no ladder there, we'll just head home. We'll just call it, we'll say, yep, yeah, we're out of luck. Our luck ran out. Time to head home. As I keep busting rocks open. <laughs> there we go. I wanted to get a ladder. <laughs> oh, see, 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 our luck didn't run out. It was just hiding. This is the last level though, for sure. Yep, I know, I know, I know. I know it's 1 a.m. I know that, I know that. We're just gonna bust these little guys up over here. These little bringers of coal. And then we're gonna head home, it's fine. Don't, don't criticize me, game. <laughs> All right, so we got um, bus stop now. Let's go ahead and grab this dude because we're right here. <laughs> I'm playing a dangerous game, I know it, I know, I know, I know. We're not gonna deal with our inventory today. Um, we're just gonna head to bed, but I'm gonna sell a couple things because it's along the way. Like just things we don't need, just junk and stuff. Uh, the jade, don't really care for. Spice berry, we'll keep because we're trying to build up a little bit of inventory. That can go. We got plenty of bat wings for whatever we would need bat wings for in the future. Uh, I'll get rid of the frozen. Well, that could have iron and coal in it, so let's just grab that back. <laughs> um, don't need you. I need to keep the slime that'll be fine that's fine the rest we'll keep but we won't put away today uh, i can just destroy this lead rod i guess uh throw it in the trash can because it is useless to me and not worth not worth going all the way up to the adventurer's guild to sell because it sells for like 50 gold or something like that yes let's go to sleep for the night we made it at 140 not bad at all um let's see how we did hopefully oh we did we did really good on profits i think because we sold so much we sold a lot we sold a lot <laughs> uh yeah two hundred and ten thousand gold that made up for a lot of what we've been spending <laughs> uh we had a hundred and sixty eight thousand from the ancient fruit wine and from two batches of truffle oil we got forty one thousand seven hundred and forty eight gold which means that my math was way off with what i uh with what i said earlier about how much we're getting from pigs probably it's gonna be closer to like a hundred thousand a day from pigs then um but yeah, 200,000 from that, which is great. A little bit from all these other random things that we sold. Total of 213,540 gold. Not too shabby if I say so myself. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up here. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like below to let me know that. Don't forget to subscribe to show your support for the channel. If you have any feedback for me, please leave that down below in the comment section. And until next time, I will see you all in the next video.